Hi everybody, Jean here with something a little different. For those of you that uh, are regular viewers to my channel, you'd know I normally concentrate on Mars anomalies and artifacts. I thought I'd do something a little different after finding this uh, PC basic emulator and uh, I was inspired to write a little game that I called Missile Command using this basic emulator. I was busy with a project at work to introduce children at school to coding and uh, I remembered when I was growing up in the 80s was played on my father's computer, a Commodore VIC-20. Others of you may have played with a ZX-80, ZX Spectrum, and a Commodore 64, amongst others. But uh, I learned to code on the Commodore VIC-20. I hadn't written code in many, many decades until I came across this emulator by Rob Hagemans. And... Uh, I see he released his f first version in 2013 and it's regularly updated so your basic games and programs will run under this emulator technology of the 1980s available here and now and uh, here are some of the features I'll include the link to this web page below constantly being updated. Yari says new stuff. PC Basic is under active development and new features are implemented regularly. Comments, requests and suggestions are always welcome. And he also has a discussion forum listed there at the top right. And uh, this is an absolutely free program so thank you to Rob for this one. Uh, yeah, are the releases and uh, I was pleased to see that uh, he caters for computers running up to XP and above and uh, it supports many many other platforms as well and uh, the documentation is top-notch You'll find all the functions and statements in the navigation to the left and also a lot of description and hints and tips on the right of the page. You can also download additional games and stuff at these links that he provides on this page as well. So he has a screenshot of the game and uh, just a quick description, we've got a uh, number of hits and misses to the left, the high score to the right, which is uh, stored and read in a little text file, a row of missiles at the bottom, and uh, I'm only using ASCII characters, the star field which is randomly generated, these uh, light blue decimal points, the little drone is either less than or greater than sign. The missiles are the pipe character. And a shot down drone is a little V. So, very basic. Pardon the pun. So, let's uh, load PC Basic. So, this is a really familiar interface to those that. Uh, played with BASIC in the 80s so all the commands still work the same let's load a little game I wrote it's called missile.bass and uh, there's a listing of it I think it's less than 80 lines of code so let's look at the first part of the program firstly I'll start by clearing the screen set the color to green and draw the bottom of the launching platform with a little four next loop over there then I'll pop in the row of missiles the color of uh, seven which is white and um, 
I open the iScore.txt file and I read in the initials and high score of the player that hit the last high score and then uh, with the game start set up a little uh, random star field in this uh, line 4 goes up 5000 let's have a look at that so um, I generate a random XY coordinate and um, I generate the star from a random number between 0 and 9 and then um, I set the color to blue and if star is 1 I print a, a little decimal point and for all other coordinates a space so that always generates a random star field now let's go back to the top of the program as the introductory text yeah you set up your speed or difficulty of the game okay yeah I generate the um, the random elevation of the little drone and also the direction either left or right as the if statement if it's left then uh, the position the uh, x position is 1 otherwise it's 80 which is on the right so the screen is divided into 80 columns and about 22 or 23 rows and over here in this if statement I look at the direction flag if it's uh, zero or the missile is going to go from left to right I go up to 100 else I go up to 300 from right to left and um, this is the main game loop starting here and uh, go to 20 is the loop that's the main game loop game loop um, go sub 1000 and go sub 5000 or for firing and also for the random star field so that's uh, look at the main game loop let's have a look at the subroutine So this is for the ship going from left to right there's the little greater than character and um, also a forward to next loop over here just to introduce a delay to slow the game down that's also from the variable you supply at the beginning of the game and then uh, I increment the position by one and then just behind it I'll then clear it by printing a space and then if it reaches the edge of the screen I go sub 4000 so let's see what's in 4000 I randomly generate another starting point set up the direction and I return and that takes me back to the main loop so let's look at the, the um, right to left movement so there we print a less than character and I subtract one from the location as it moves across to the left and uh, just behind it I will then clear it with a space and then uh, in the main game loop we also refer to line 1000 so let's have a look at the loop quickly again so 
there it starts. We've now gone to go sub 100 and go sub 300 for the right and left movement of the ship or drone. Go sub 1000. Is the missile and uh, I'm using the in key dollar statement and if you press the F it will then launch the missile to the right of the row and uh, I'll then subtract one from the coordinate to move it up horizontally and then just behind it I'll clear it with the space then if it reaches the top and it hasn't hit the drone I increment the miss counter with one otherwise if it does hit it I increment the score by one and uh, then I update the text on the screen in that line there and there again I'll also go to the subroutines for the drone so that the movement of the missile and the drone continue that it doesn't pause the movement of the drone while it shoots the missile so these subroutines are crucial to simultaneous movement of both drone and missile so this is uh, in these two lines I check whether I've missed or hit the drone let's have a look at the main loop again sub 5000 is the random star field which I'll show you now and then uh, if P equals 15 that will mean that all the missiles have been fired and uh, we've got to go to 3000 and at 3000 we uh, print game over also we check whether there's a new high score if the score is higher than the high score saved in a text file it will give you a chance to enter your initials and use a length statement there to reduce it to three or less otherwise the display of the high score at the top right hand won't look right so it's just to limit the initials to three otherwise they won't fit in the space of allocated to the top right and I open the file store the initials and the high score and I close the file 3200 onwards is if you've reach the end of the game but you haven't got a new high score so let's check that out so game over 3200 there we go and then uh, I prompt the player do you want to play again yes or no Let's look at line 4000 and on. Yeah, we set up the coordinate and the direction of the drone again. And uh, we start the random star field generation here yeah, at line 5000. Let's just have a look at the main game loop again. So yeah, starting at line 20, 
down to 50 and that is the loop so it goes up 5000 we'll then add a random star to the star field and uh, it will check if all the missiles have been fired or not and then return to line 20 until the game is over so that's the basics of it um, if you like the game I'll include the link in the description below where you can download the missile.bas and highscore.txt file unzip it in uh, your C colon backslash documents and settings backslash username that's uh, where PC basic saves and retrieves all its um, basic files So yeah, in my case, that will be C drive, documents and settings, and my name, Jean Ward, and that's where you'll find missile.bas and highscore.txt. And then to reset the high score, all you need to do is open the highscore.txt file in Notepad, you can type in your preferred three initials and uh, you can uh, place a zero there to reset the score also uh, don't delete the little space before the zero so say for example the high score is 50 you come in here delete the two and uh, place the zero there and just save it as usual. So let's have a look at the game. So I start off by generating a couple of random stars and the instruction is uh, you have 50 missiles, try to shoot down as many drones as possible and this is where you set your game speed. This will vary on uh, different computers with different speeds so if it's too fast on your computer just um, type in a really huge delay factor on mine uh, I like to use 300 so there's the little drone and uh, you can see in the background a random star field is being generated as it loops through the main game loop. I check out the direction and elevation of the, the drone varies. And in the top right hand I've retrieved the high score from highscore.txt. And uh, there we go, we're firing and the miscount uh, increments with one let's try and shoot down one it's surprisingly difficult to score a direct hit because that object is so small so it is rather addictive this game as well I typed this in from a PC magazine that published the game um, in the 80s into the VIC-20 and this is one of my favorite games and um, I was really missing it so I thought I'd quickly see if I could slap a little game together and thanks to PC Basic we've got um, an environment in which we can play all our old games again and run all our old basic utilities and programs so fast forward we've got three missiles left and there we go we fired them all indicates game is over and we can enter our initials also because of that length statement can't enter more than three so there we go
play again, yes or no, say yes, see it retrieves the high score from the text file. So whenever you run this game, the latest high score will be indicated there. So I think that's it for uh, showing you the game. Like it, it sure is nostalgic to go back to the 80s. So thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it, found it informative and interesting. I'll be returning to my regular Mars anomalies and artifacts after this. Thanks again for watching and I'll be back soon. Bye bye for now.